Why make a webcomic? Well, if you're a budding illustrator and you've never considered making sequential art in the form of a webcomic, here are a few good reasons why you should. Hi there, I'm Dion, and I'm making the webcomic Jim Reel Paranormal Investigator. In the background, you'll see me making part of page two, which is live right now on my website to read, while we discuss some of the great benefits of making your own webcomic short or series, either as a long-term or short-term goal. First is the accessibility. It's hard to believe but some of the first webcomics have been around as early as the 1980s. Can you imagine how long it took to download those? I first started getting into reading webcomics around 2007 with an old site I uploaded to called Comic Space. The ease to upload and create whatever you wanted, within the site's guidelines of course, gave me my first opportunity to create and publish my own work and actually have it in front of readers all within a very short time frame. For example, if you consider the process of creating and publishing a 22 page printed serial comic, first you have a writer create the script, the penciler then pencils the artwork, the inker then inks those pencils, then a colorist adds the color, the finished pages are scanned, photographed, sent to the printer, then sent to a distributor who ships it to your local comic shop, and then it sits on a shelf waiting for the right hands to pick it up. Whereas with a webcomic, you can probably write, illustrate and publish your own short three to six page black and white short story all within three to five days, depending on your schedule. This then leads to so many more opportunities when you publish to the web that has a huge potential to reach a large amount of readers all over the world. And if you also publish to webcomic platforms, you'll have other comic creators and readers seeing your work pop up on that site's homepage which then leads to instant feedback, recognition, and the potential for my second point, which is discoverability. It's very hard in the art world to get noticed, and even harder when it comes to finding a job in the comic book industry. If you think about how many times you've seen a cool drawing of Spider-Man or Batman on Instagram by an artist you've never heard of, and then felt mildly out of your league because of how good their art looked compared to yours, raise your hand. But something different happens when you create your own little webcomic. You're no longer bound by the creative constraints put on you by a massive corporation, and there is no longer the huge expectations that can come with creating someone else's IP. Instead, what you'll focus on is your own work and in turn create your own style, which will find its own audience. And that's exactly what I'm hoping to achieve with my own webcomic, Jim Real Paranormal Investigator. By sharing my process with you, I'm hoping to help you if you're also thinking about making your own handmade webcomics. I'm also learning a few things myself along the way. You can check out the story so far at the link in the description where I'm posting the first short story. And I've noticed in just a short period of time that by making even a short webcomic, you'll also be creating a body of work you can use as your own online portfolio. Gone are the days of having to visit art buyers face to face or sending a fax and sometimes even now an email. Now a lot of companies in advertising and publishing are keeping an eye out for what's popular through social media and other online platforms such as DeviantArt or ArtStation. So if you're making a webcomic and it's getting a lot of attention, not only are you proving that people like your work, but the webcomic format is going to show your versatility at drawing different scenes, angles, characters, clothing, perspective, everything you can think of that comes with drawing webcomics and more. Exciting scenes, boring scenes, it all adds up to making a diverse portfolio. And if you're creating your webcomic on a regular basis, you are also going to show those buyers that you are reliable. You could deliver on time and handle deadlines. It's something which I think a lot of companies look for more in an artist than anything else is professionalism and reliability. And let's not forget, you'll also be making your own intellectual property. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was created by Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird, just a couple of young guys in the 80s with a dream of making comics. Eastman came up with the idea of a anthropomorphic turtle wielding a nunchuck as just a bit of a joke to show Laird. Laird loved it so much that the two developed the idea and added three more characters fighting crime in the gritty streets of New York. And the comic and stories are still going on to this day and have several movies, TV shows, games, toys, and a huge fan base that keeps growing and growing. 
The potential for your own IP to hit that same level of interest is increased by 100% when you create a world of characters and stories for your illustrations in the form of a webcomic. The entertainment industry is constantly looking for new stories and unique ideas that they will pay handsomely for to either create products or other entertainment. Numerous webcomics have been made into Netflix series and games over the last few years, and it doesn't look like the trend is slowing down as the entertainment industry looks for new ideas. Because, to be honest, you could spend all day working for Marvel or DC as an artist and be very happy doing so. But that can feel like just a regular J-O-B where you have no control and no artistic license. We can't all be as lucky as Todd McFarlane and get away with what we want. Or can we? What about creating a legacy of your own work that will set you up for life and make you the next Marvel or DC or Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird? And when that carpal tunnel makes it too painful from all that drawing later on in your career, you won't have to worry about drawing through the pain. You might be set for life because you'll have your own IP to do what you want with. Okay, let's talk again soon. Bye for now.